we're going to be working in photo P in editing your headshots and putting it on a canvas with your um, photo, main photograph, your diagram that you wrote by hand, and a setup. So we're going to go File, New, and we're going to be working in inches, so I go with inches, and our canvas is going to be a 10 by 8. And the DPI will be 150. Here's my canvas, and then I will go to File, Open in Place, and I'm going to find my main image. But before I do that, I forgot we have to um, we have to make some bounding boxes. Now because this is photo P, we have a lot of real estate taken up by ads because while well, the you know the program is free and it's on the internet so they have to pay for it somehow our size is 8 by 10 so on my rulers which are command R so I can press command R disappear command R to reappear I'm gonna pull from the side and go halfway so I, I'm on the 5 and then pull from our top Let's see if I can do it. Doesn't seem to want to do it. Hmm. I can pull. I can pull from the side, and there it goes. And we want to land on four. So I have my canvas divided into four equal quadrants. Quadrants. This is really going to be very important. So back again. File. Open in place our main photograph of our subject hmm. and although it says it's there let's take a look on the layers window and you can't pull it out like you could in Photoshop so let's see what is happening here so I'm gonna delete it and try it again because sometimes you know, you got to do it twice. So file, open in place, main image, open. And then, oh, there it is. And I'm going to place it right into my image. Then I'm trying to get the layers. It's just it's waiting because we need those layers to work. Because we have to move things around. Maybe if I pull it out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's what it needs. So let's pull it out a little bit more to the side. And it's kind of fighting me. And, okay. It's a little touchy. So there's our main layer. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna call it layer one, which is our main layer. Then I'm going to go file open in place and get our setup and here it is now if you look at the layers it's actually underneath the background so I need to push it up and I also need to transform this layer so I need to make it smaller so I go edit free transform and I'm going to grab the corners and put it about right there in the corner and make it a little bit bigger and <clears throat> it just happens that I have enough headspace on top so I'm going to ignore because now we have our 
<coughs> second layer. I'm going to call that one highlight it number two layer. Then I need to get my diagram. So file, open in place, and then here's my diagram. And it also opened up on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to the top. May not let me until I ready to alter until I'm ready to change it up. So I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to accept it and then move it to the top. And I'm going to name this layer three. So we have two layers, one, two, and three. Now, as I move the layer three around, I'm making it so that I can see, and I want it to land in the center point on our horizontal and but you're like it's overlapping on our main layer layer one not a problem all I have to do is put number one and then now it is covered up by layer one and then I need to identify what kind of studio photograph this is this is front lighting so I'm going to choose the text tool and there's these different fonts available for you. I like Arial. Let's see if it's available. Okay, so not because that probably costs money. Um, so I'm gonna just choose whichever font that I think um, will work. I just want something really simple. I don't anything um, fancy. So I'm gonna choose Amble Light. Um, no, let's choose Anaheim. That seems pretty good. Remember that font because you'll be needing that um, for the other six images that you're gonna create. So text tool, wait, I chose Anaheim. Where did it go? Okay, so it is selected. All right, let's just try it. Oh, I can see in my layer that it's there. So this is zero one, and I need to move my layers above um, my photos. So the layers, I mean, sorry, my text need to be on the top layer to see it. And it is so tiny, it's hard to see. See if I can highlight it. Let's see if I can just type it in the layers. Zero two front. Will it pop up? No. So I'm gonna select it. Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it. And this is 24 points. And let's see if I can make it bigger. I don't want to make it too big, but I think that looks okay. Using the move tool, which is, air, which is the arrow, I'm going to see if I can jazz it up a little bit. So front, instead of regular, nope, it only has one. So, so we have our font ready to, we have our title. I'm going to be using Anaheim and it's numbered. Actually, it's supposed to be zero one. So let me go ahead and fix that. Zero one front. I also created all these other tabs, um, text tabs, because, you know, Photo P isn't exactly like Photoshop, but it's, you know, close enough and it's free. So I'm gonna delete those other um, layers. 
that we didn't use. So all I have now are my um, title, our three photographs, and no white space at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So file, save as PSD. First, I'm gonna save it as a Photoshop file in case you need to go back and do something with it. So save as a PSD. And I already made a folder for my Photoshop files. And I'm gonna number this 03 because I've already done it, you know, three times. So it's gonna be underscore HH for headshot, underscore last name, underscore first name, dot PSD. So, and I'm gonna save it. So that's saving me, that's saving my Photoshop file. But for submission, you need to submit a JPEG. So then I go file, export, format, JPEG. And they're giving us some options. I'm going to go quality, 100% quality only layer folders whose name starts with E, remove parts outside the canvas, trim transparent parts. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept whatever they're saying and export my layers, no layers to export. Ooh, I don't wanna, okay, so that's wrong. Let's try it again. File, export as, oh, there it is, JPEG. Quality 100%. Um, we'll just leave assuming that the file doesn't size change and then I press save and I'm going to go back to my folder where I'm keeping my JPEGs of this assignment my JPEGs and I think this is my fourth JPEG apparently and then I press save and there it is let's go ahead and check it out give me a second to open up my file And there's my JPEG. And here is my Photoshop file. It actually opened it up in Photoshop. Okay, well, save your work and submit it. Remember, you can do that seven times.